Both teams in, please. I want the black team in offense and the white and the yellow team on defense. And I want, I want my point guard, well, which is not mine, it's the opponent point guard actually, right here. Say our wings, of course, on the side, correct matchups. Say one trailer over there and second trailer right behind you. Second trailer coming, setting a first picker or screen. Okay? This is five, right? And that's four, correct? Okay. Now, let's get to one of the points I were mentioning before. If the ball is here and this guy is coming to set the pick so early in the possession and so far from the basket, we do not want to play any pick and roll defense on this. We do not. We want to let him know that the screen is coming and we just want to stay one step behind right here and give him the opportunity to go right under. Okay? Fine. If the re screen, like we were working yesterday, you remember I was saying I hate teams who screen and re screen in the same spot? There are many teams who are automatically on this. It goes under, we just turn, turn and re screen. Yesterday we were uh, emphasizing the issue that we want that after the first, the first under, this guy try to drive. And if this guy is not in a correct position, he finishes drive, right? So, we want, if they don't do that, if they are screening and re-screening just automatically, like many teams do, we just want to, again, go under, okay? So, many teams, in other words, play a first pick at all just to play from the help of the defense on. For example, they want this guy from the very beginning to step out, roll to the basket, and immediately have a situation where how to play offense is clear. This man is wide open. They should adjust. Somebody will be open. We do not want to do that. We do not want him to have with 18 seconds, 19 seconds, 20 seconds, the shot clock, somebody open. We are helping them. They must figure out the way to score a basket. We don't have to give them defensively an easy message. This is the way. You have it immediately. You have 20 seconds to play knowing that you just have to move the ball from a, an advantage situation, which is big man rolling to the basket, big advantage situation, rolling to the basket early in the, early in the game, early in the possession. We want to be extremely, extremely attentive on this. Or other Another situation, like for example, take a ball on one side, save our foreman, set the first pick here, and second pick, go to more to the corner. For example, or um, have a, a guard over here catching the ball, better, better again to make it, this example clear. For example, there are several teams who want to run a first pick and roll on one side at the beginning and then throw the ball to the other side to play a second pick and roll over there. Okay? This is pretty common in, in modern basketball. So, what do they want? They want this guy to start to make helps, this guy pop or roll, all the different start to move, but what they really want to do, it is if we don't do nothing here to play there, that's the pick and roll they, they want to play to attack the basket. So we do not want to help them. If they want us to react to their pick and roll, we don't react. We do not react. We just go under. Pass the ball over there. And, and oh, the whole team is ready to play this second pick and roll, whatever you want to do. The general principle here it is, if they want to play just the first pick and roll to move the defense, to, to see the defense make a mistake, we do not take any risk on the first one. 
zero risk on first fake pickerel. Okay? Uh, go back. Let's go with the four men over there, the five men over here. Now, set the screen here. Closer to the basket. Or, or under on the first, second screen. Okay? Anyway, now we are now we are in a three-point range situation, okay? Again, it is not the same. It is not the same to be a 40% three-point shooter overall than to be a 40% or even a 36, 37, which is a good, solid three-point shooter in transition of the dribble, not the same. In other words, if this guy want me to make my defense react to this picker or situation, must be a transition of the dribble three-point shooter. And, and the range of the really good shooters here reduce a lot, reduce. There are people who are very good catching and shooting, feet on the floor. This is not the case. Here they are in dynamic situation. They are pushing the ball. They have to pull up a three point in a very short amount, very little amount of time. So in other words, if you are not one of these players really good in catching, catching the ball and shooting of the dribble, I don't want to play aggressive on this pick at all, neither. I don't care. So once again, I work under. Um, uh, go back on here. We said, we said, go set the screen here. Go. Now, re-screen. OK? Now, on the risk tree, if they work correctly, like we were talking yesterday, to screen, attack, and risk screen closer to the best. Let's say they create a really dangerous situation right here. On the second time, yeah, we, be, we, we think to go over. And what we want from our big man right here is that just one arm behind, not too flat, not too flat, right here, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Okay, right there. Okay, one hour, one meter, meter and a half. Okay, then we will see all the rest of our of our defensive organization. This I want to give the general idea of what we do. Okay, then we later we will see how. Now think about what we do. On the risk screen, we go over, and his responsibility is trying to get back as soon as he can in front. If you go with a speed dribble, full speed dribble, we'll switch. Go back, go back on this, please. Go back on this with two steps. Everybody two steps before. This is, here you have a first idea what we were meaning before to say staying all five players must participate. So when this guy goes in, if he's bit behind him, he go with the speed dribble, this guy must switch. He's taller, bigger, he comes from inside, from outside to inside with a good situation to bump him out or even to switch if he goes to the basket. You will take the last man over there, okay? Against the speed dribble. Speed dribble means that the guy put his head down, is really attacking the basket. He's not with his head out, watching the situation and reading like we were saying yesterday. You remember, go to the free throw line, Take a pose, take a split second right there, watch. That's not the situation. In that situation, we want our ball handle defender get back in front. Do it. Wait, 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 wait. We do not want to switch over there, okay? This is the reason why we want this guy to get in. You try to get back in front, okay? If he stops, if he's not in a speed dribble, attacking the best situation, you go back, okay? If he attack the dream, if he attack the basket, then we switch. Okay, let's go. Okay, 
So this is a big difference. The point guard is aggressive to the basket. It's almost impossible that this guy from behind can recover and play good defense. So somebody else on the team will help him. If this guy goes and, and is not too fast attacking the basket, we do not want to create switching situation too early. Mismatches are always dangerous. Not necessarily for him to drive to the basket against the big man, which is not a good situation offensively, but for the offensive rebound. Okay? If we switch too early, maybe go finish with the penetration, maybe we had a bad shot, somebody deflected, but then we have a big man going offensive rebound against the point guard, which is an easy offensive rebound situation. When you think about this overall, when you evaluate your pick and roll defense, you have to think about this also. What percentage, which percentage of offensive rebounds are my, is my opponent grabbing in, in pick and roll situation? Because pick and roll situation is not finishing on the shot. It's finishing when, the possession, when you have the ball in your hands. So to make the pick and roll difference effective, if you have to make a lot of switches, see if you are effective until the very end of the possession, which is when you get the rebound. Because if you are effective on the pick and roll, but then the opponent gets every single offensive rebound, your defense is not too good. So five first trailer, four second trailer. No, no, five is the first trailer, four is the second trailer. Wait. This situation is a little bit different, a little bit, because we suppose that our five-man opponent is mostly a big man, roller, and the four-man is mostly, uh, or it's also somebody who can pop and shoot and, treat and take three points, okay? So we do not want to play him far. We, don't want to, we do not want to separate too much from him, okay? What we want to do, it is establish a count. We don't talk about pushing because this is illegal. But if you are able to move him, to move him a little bit away from the best, move him a little bit. Move him a little bit. Well, this is what happened if you talk about pushing, right? That, that the, 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 the start to flop and they call you offensive foul, right? So we just want to look, come back, come back. What we want to show to the referee is the how our ends, when we start to see to, to, to uh, find the flopper, we want to show to the referee that our arms are up, okay? We stay right here, he will grab you, he will fake, he will flop, no. Arms up, 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 up. Keep a balance, keep a balance. Just be moving with little moves, little moves right here, right here, okay? We want, in other words, to make this screen happen as far as we can from the basket, okay? So again, if the spot on the floor where this pick and roll is happening is not really close to the three-point line, or this is a really good shooter, really three-point shooter off the dribble, again, not in a catch and shoot, off the dribble, and our scouting let us know that, right? We want to just keep this contact and slide in front of him again. I emphasize, wait, wait, I emphasize this issue. In front, not like this, in front. Your work finish when you are fully in front of the ball. He's dribbling with his right hand, go with your nose in front of a right hand in front of the ball, okay? If a wrist screen happen, if a wrist screen happen, let's say lower, bring him lower. In this situation, with the four men, if he's a pop three-point shooter, because if he's not, we can play a flat defense even, okay? Think, keep in your mind that uh, my foreman can be Nikola Mirotic, Serge Ibaka, or Pau Gasol, which, which are still big men. They are not three, four, six, seven guys. They are from six, nine Ibaka to six, 10 Mirotic, to seven foot power, so they are really big men. But if this is a, we want, in other words, to limit the situation where our four men must be very aggressive stepping out, because this is not, too, not, not a very quick play, okay? So, and or Ibaka case is quick, but he doesn't like to step out. He feels strong here, he's a, 
is a shot blocker. He wants to defend the play. So on the risk screen in this case, no, no, do the, you, we did already first. In, wait, two steps later, four, we're here. In the risk screen, we do step out. What do we want to do? We want to put two feet, two feet, in this case, left and right, out of the screen to make sure that your body is in front of the ball, okay? Your responsibility is slide right between the screener and your teammate, okay? Use, be active with his hand, threaten to, to steal the ball. Just, just two, two, I wouldn't say two steps, because maybe it's two steps you use like this. This is not what I want. I want basically one step with one, two. Okay? Is it clear? Your responsibility go here, and then we see what to do. Let's go. Let's go screen. You keep him high, re-screen, step out. Wait, wait. Go behind him. Okay? Because if he goes over, you can crash with him. Okay? This is danger. Okay? Let's go. Go again. Go again. Go again. First, first screen. Second one. Step out behind him. Now, let's do it with a little bit wider space. And what we want is offensively try see if, if the when he goes under is in front of the ball. On the on the re screen, try to be aggressive. A little bit more dynamic offensive. Let's see. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Fine. Go back on the second screen. That work we want with the four men screening and rescreening as a second trailer. In transition, but basically is what we normally do also during a regular possession. Now, let's say that we are already in a shooting range that this is a three-point shooter, that this is a pop three-point shooter as well, okay? So on the slow motion now. Here, back, pop. Let's say that this is not the best situation for a pop shot to happen. Move away, go to the corner, okay? Corner, corner. Now, we will say that the arms and hand job is important. We wanted this. Do this exactly, and then when he pops, try to go right in his, in his tail, right behind his ass. Keep going, and with this, listen, with this arm, try to make this pass slow. Okay, so this is the job, and this is still be the job to have this pass to the pop shooter be slow, low. Pass, not a straight pass. We want to give it half a second more to our foreman to recover on the pop shots. Okay? So, in other words, this, but keep your disarm up. Up, like this. Okay? Um, one more thing. Make, make, first one. Let's go. Under. Second one. Red screen, right there. Go back. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Go back. Right, you are here, okay? He's popping, okay? This man is responsible of two things, okay? Right here. If he rolls, if he rolls right here, just to slow him down if he go nearby. If he go deep inside, it's not your, your responsibility at all, okay? But if he pops, if he rolls, your responsibility to stop him your responsibility is to rotate, but after the step out over there, you'll recover inside, okay? Take it the inside situation, okay? If he pops, if he pops, the responsibility of this man is just make a quick fake and get back. Quick fake. We do not want, as we were saying before, we do not want to turn our back, okay? We don't want to give him an easy opportunity of going back door, okay? We need to have a strong, active arms activity, like this and back, okay? If he goes back door, it's gonna be again your responsibility to help. 
your responsibility to rotate. Okay? If he go for a deep back door, if he stay out, you will recover. Okay? Let's do it. Screen, rescreen. Now work on popping. Pop. Stop, stop. If you are this slow going back in front of the ball, he must stay out after a second more. We do not want to this. You have to be much faster jumping in front of the ball. Your responsibility is just make two steps and get back on your man. Let him alone. If he's not in front of the ball, is his trouble. I mean, is his business that he will be in trouble with me. Okay? Faster to go in front of the ball. Let's go. Come on, step out. Right there. Okay, perfect. Okay, wait. This is the idea. Now, do the same, but instead of popping, roll. Okay, exactly. So, if instead of popping, he rolls, which is a possibility, right here, do it. Go, go, go. Whoa, whoa. Right here, they step out. Okay, fine. Wait, wait, wait. Roll. His job is still toward his own man, but if he's rolling right here, since the other three players are basically zoning, okay, what we want from them is arms activity, spread out your arm, try to be big on the floor. If this guy rolls aggressively, in a, in a situation like this, we, will, we must be ready, again, again, again. We must be ready to switch with that. And, st exactly, if, wait, if the ball during this recover goes there, you must finish your rotation inside there because probably this guy is busy fighting inside, okay? But if the ball is still there, if the ball, exactly, you go right here and it will go with that, okay? Big with big, small with small, okay? We do it, we ready? Let's go. Now, screen and roll. So first screen, behind, second screen, screen and roll. Wait, 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 wait. Just step out in front and get back. Don't stay out. I don't want you to still stay in a position. Just one, two, and go. Sprint, sprint. Okay, let's go. Come on. Okay, step out. Sprint it. Wait, 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 wait. No switch on the pop. No switch on the pop. Let's start to put some communication over there. Of course, here we have signal. We, for example, we use colors to, sh to, to uh, let him know what's going to happen. White, blue, red, green, whatever. It's your call. But with colors, he knows that if uh, green, happy, green, 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 okay, he knows what to do. Now, remember, versus pop, you recover. Versus roll, he helps or switch. Okay? It's your choice now to pop or roll. Okay? Come on. Stop. Good. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. You did the right thing. No screen, no help. Remember what we were saying before? They are not using pick and roll. They didn't do a good job. There was no body contact. They were too fast trying to go ahead in the possession. They don't really give any trouble, they didn't give any trouble to the defense. Just let him know that he's by himself. By yourself, whatever, okay? If you got to go much better screening, attacking, re-screening, otherwise you will stay 15 seconds dribbling the ball. Let's go, come on, right there. Set the second screen, strong second screen. Okay, back, okay, okay, back, back, let's correct. Listen, if you want if you want to create a situation of advantage right here, you have to make this guy really be concerned about you. If you just make one dribble and pass the ball, he say, okay, I step and get back, okay? Use the roll as well, use the roll, not only pop. Let's go, come on. The part, okay, back. Okay, perfect, excellent. That's, that's, that's the situation, okay? He rolled, we need to switch, Ball is still was still there, so we could go back with the four against five and one or two against one or two over there, okay, without switching too early, big and small, which is something 
I want to avoid badly. Let's go with the double high situation. Okay, four and five up here. So we were talking about transition pick and roll because you find a lot of transition pick and roll in your game, but also because the general principle you saw before basically are the same in most of our situation of, uh, of the five on five, half court five on five during the rest of the possession as well, okay? I mean, the five man is basically staying flat, actively flat, one meter, one meter and a half. Then that's the eternal fight against the big man. Big man want to stay three meter behind. I need them to stay one meter. So we'll probably find a way in two meters, two meters away, okay? It's always a matter of negotiation, of settlement. Please stay higher, okay? But I don't want my man to roll and make a dunk. We will help you. Okay, I will stay higher. Then somebody make a mistake. A dunk happen. I got to stay lower. No. I mean, this is with everybody. Everybody. NBA, EuroLeague, any level. Big man doesn't want dunks. And the small man doesn't want shot in front of him. So we have to find a way, okay? Now, in this situation, it's a very common one as well, right? A double high situation. First of all, we want to try to, as we were saying before, to, to be ourselves on defense, the one who make the first step. In terms of saying, for example, uh, say that we call it green, okay? This kind of a flat defense. Green right means that we want to send him mostly towards the right where the five man is. You know that since the four man is not running a green situation because he's doing different things, when he call it, green right is the five man over there, okay? So let's say that, for example, he F actually takes his, your right side, okay? What we want to do here, it is again decide how dangerous is the man with the ball according to the spot on the floor and his shooting ability of the dribble. There is another important issue right here which got to help you making your decision. Not only shooting ability, but also how quick they are if you go under on re-screening, okay? If they are really quick on doing it, also if it's not a great shooter, I prefer you to go over. Why? Because on any other screen with the five men, we want to keep the ball on one side, basically, okay? If it goes under an ear screen, it's impossible you re jump on his hip to keep the ball on one side, okay? So, in double high situation, if they screen and re-screen with the same player, because if he's coming from the other side, if he go on fourth side, and then five men is coming, we have time enough to turn and to jump to the hip and keep on one side. But those on the same side, five men screen, five men re-screen, also if he's not a great three-point shooter, we want to go over in order to go ahead with the next step, which we will do it as soon as you made the first, okay? Let's go with the first step right now. Wait, wait. If you want to go under, then you gotta jump in front of, listen, in front of his right hand to keep him on one side. Because now I tell you what we want to. Just go, go over and stay there, okay? Go over and stay there. No, 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 over, over, not under, over. Okay, wait. Now, on re-screen situation, we are exactly in any pick and roll situation, and we use most of the same rule we use for any pick and roll situation with five. Responsibility of the ball handler defender. It is jump to the inside hip of the ball handler, okay? Even feeling have this hand active right here. Keep your higher foot minimum at the same level of his foot, okay? Okay, not lower. This is a very important key. To, to, to feel that you are okay, you can see that your foot is on the same line of his own foot, feet, or over them, a little bit over them. We don't want either to play like this. This is sending to the best, okay? 
This is your responsibility in any situation. Your responsibility, it is, as we were saying, one meter, let's say two meters right here. The idea it is that you are active with your arm. Active doesn't mean that you are responsibility to go on the shot. This is not your responsibility. Responsibility of contesting the pull-up jumper if of this man. Okay? So it is faking, it is showing that you're here, but basically you are in a triangle spread out. In a triangle situation, ball yourself and five men screen. Okay? So let's go with the first screen, set the second one, and play this, this kind of a difference. Keep on one side. No, no, stay double high first. Double high first. Five men side. Everything of five men side. Let's go. Go, go. Second screen. Second screen. Second screen. Wait, 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 wait. What's your goal? Maybe I was not clear enough. Once you establish this position, your goal is don't let the ball go to the middle. Okay? So you hear the middle way for him is closed. Totally closed. Okay? Go back. Over, okay, screen, screen again, screen again, screen again, screen again, cool, cool, perfect, okay, fine, wait, wait, good, good, okay, before moving on, let's go talking about what happened on number four side, because of course, sometimes we have advantage of play with the five, sometimes we prefer to send it to the, to the uh, left side, to the foreman side, okay, in this case, we, again, since we believe that this is a three-point pop shooter, they cross in the three-point line. The, f the main issue is don't separate too much. Separate. This is a separation, a huge separation, if this would be a three-point shooter, right? If this is a three-point shooter, like in most of, of uh, our four main cases, we want to do it is be right here, keep, keep contact, keep him away, push. No, no, use, use your... This, like this, yeah, okay, R right, and then you go right in front. So if four men re-screen, like in the transition, we are ready to step out, back against pop, ready versus roll, rotation, okay, back. If what happened most of the time, wait, 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 this man pop and five men go to set the screen, Pop away, go set the screen. Of course, voice is important because what he must do, it is, again, jump on his hip, you protect right there, couple of meters, being active with your arms. Okay, let's go. Form inside, don't re screen, just pop away, find and screen. Okay? Okay, come on. Okay, wait. That's what we want. In a, most of the time, then there will be tactical situation where maybe we can make little change. But we never want to switch, ever. Okay, back here. We do want to do one thing if this is a real good three-point shooter. Instead of, yeah, but, but we, need that, we need some help. Because if you try to go over in a situation like this, probably you will... You have a double screen to overcome. This guy will drive. There will be two easy ones. So we need you to help and step out from the very first. Okay? Perfect. Instead of pushing, yeah. Okay. If this is combination, it is really good three-point shooter of the dribble. Really good pop shooter in the pop. Okay? So in this case, you hear, you see that they come on your side. We go. We do what we were doing before. Okay? Just no. Let it. Let it go. Okay. Just step. Two steps. Go now. If he pop, you do the same job you were. Use your arm right here. If he rolls, if he rolls, screen and roll. Wait, 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 wait. This is not what we want. Remember, what we wanted is one, two. He goes right here, and then you go back, okay? Just one, two, vertically, on his way, on his way. Let's go. Right here, slow motion. No, no, no. Roll, roll, roll. No, no, go, 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 roll, roll it. Switch. Okay? We got it. 
So every time we step out the four rows, we want to have a switch with five. So five against four inside and four against five outside, which is an advantage for us. Okay? Let's do it now. So first time, you screen and pop. Second time, you screen and roll. Okay? This is a three-point shooter, so step out right there. Okay, back, back, right there, right there. Go, hey. Let's don't. Well, you can, you can, you can do it. Okay, I understand what you mean. Okay, but you did an excellent job so far. Okay, now you roll it, roll it. Wait, 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 wait. Again, roll straight, St straight now. Roll. Go back, go back. Double high. Hey, hey, hey. It's a double high situation. Remember. Come on, step out. Wait, wait. In, this is what happened. This is what happened. If you are being attentive, you can see that we try to avoid body contact between the big man screening and who's defended the ball handler. Why? Because we want to reduce the effect of the screens. So pushing, stepping out or going behind. What we are trying to do is reduce the amount of time where the big man screening is in a body contact with our ball handle defender. Because this is the reason why. If he goes behind with the body contact with the screener, he will push you inside, push you inside. Then only a switch is the answer. And we do not want to switch that early. So again, over, go behind your teammate who's stepping out, but not Try to avoid body contact with the screen. Let's go. Okay, perfect. Okay, we got it. This is basically what we do on double high situation in different cases. Is a recognized three point shooter of the dribble? He is not. Or better say, he's not a great three point shooter. Now he is. Now, start from here, go with the double high. And now we work on number five man side. Screen, we go over and re-screen, okay? Number four man side, you can pop or roll. It's your call. If we pop, second screen with five. Okay, we got it? Let's go. Okay, second screen, second screen. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Okay, okay, one more time, one more time, one more time. I want you to be, think to the basket. Eh? Don't think to, to start the play. Just be aggressive and try to find a way to score. Go back with the double high situation. Use far, four man side, five man side, whatever. Wait, wait, wait. If you are this far, exactly. You've got to stay in a body contact. And let him know if you push or if you step out. Tell him. In your language, whatever, let him know. Let's go. Okay, fine, perfect. Okay, good. Wait, wait. Excellent defense. Excellent defense. Now work a little bit on number four man side. That's a good defense. Uh, guys, in your language, Whatever it is, let the point guard defender what is going to happen. Are you pushing? Are you stepping out? Are you keeping on side? Talk, talk. Let's go. Communicate. Stop, stop. You have it? You must have it clear. If you want to step out, you got to step out vertically, not to the side. You know why? This is, this is a common mistake. If you go far away, from the screener and pop shooter, you're going far away from the pop. You will pop and shoot. What we wanted is go in his way and right back in his tail, okay, in his back, right here, okay? I hate to see this kind of a table four. One more, one more time. Back, good, good. Second, hey, 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 hey. what got happen here? What should we do? And keep the ball on one side, right? One more time. It's not bad. Huh? It's not bad. What to do? Okay. Here. See a situation right here on the second screen. With five. Ball is ready. The guy pop away. He made the right call. Okay. Maybe change his angle, his screen like that. 
run over this guy going with a speed dribble. <coughs> okay? Speed dribble to the best. Right? If you push, he goes behind. If you jump out, he goes over. Let him know. Okay. Good. Second screen. Screen opposite. Screen opposite. Screen up. Attack the basket. Okay. Wait. Once again, we're here. We are in the drive situation right here. We were here. Here already. Now, all, every basic situation here in the side and in the middle. We will see later. We want, if he attacks the basket, a switch. But again, we don't want him responsible of the switch. It's very difficult if he rolls to the basket that he can recover in a good position in front. What we want it is, ball is there, ball is still there. That the next man, right here, so remember what we were, wait, wait. Two man game, no, it's a five man game. Everybody's zoning right here. If it is a corner, you must cooperate as well. No, we long helps, like we were saying. Don't turn your back, but be active. Try to slow him down and get back, okay? What we want on this, it is that when he rolls, go with the speed dribble, but slow motion. Slow motion, but attack the basket. Go, we want this man to switch, and this man go there, okay? And if, if ball goes to the top during this, this, this work, okay, you get him, you finish the rotation, you go back on your, okay? Let's do it. Let's do it actively. Let's go. Come on. Back. Okay. Second screen. Attack the basket. Attack the basket. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. You got it? Is it clear enough, right? This is the, our general idea. Now, let's... Of course, the ball is on one side. The job looks pretty, pretty easy. Okay, now let's put the ball in the middle and go with a single picker or case, just with the one and five, for example. Let's have, for example, the four men open up right there on free to line extension, elbow to the middle. Now, the idea here, it is do exactly the same. If the ball is one side already, we jump on his hip, also middle picker or situation, we want to create a strong side where everybody know that they are on both sides and a weak side or help side where the, two, the other two people know that they are on a weak side, okay? Now, change your angle like, like you were doing before. Screen right here, okay? Go. Now, not necessary. Go over, go over. Not necessary in a split dribble. Roll. Now, we still, the situation, the difficult situation is right here when we do not know if he's attacking the basket or not. So you are basically recovering, and you are basically in between, because you are concerned about the ball, and you are concerned about the role of your player, right? This is the difficult situation where you don't know if your task now is go help or go back on your man, okay? We want to help you like this. Go ahead, go back, go back. The top man, no, you here, ball is there, huh? okay? You are, you are, Higher, higher, but more in the middle. Okay, the idea is that our weak side is always basically with one foot on the basket to basket line. Okay, right there, right there, you two. Okay, now go slow motion, walk it, roll to the basket. We want him to bump. Okay, we do not the switch right here because that switch is going to be very long. We want to slow him down. If it doesn't work, then you are responsible for the, the second help. But if we do correctly, this guy, this guy is going to slow him down, get back, and add the possibility for him to recover, for him to recover, and everybody get back on your, their own man. Okay? The key it is 
that your position when you see that it's taking that side, it's right here in the middle. Because if you stay here, you cannot go bump. Okay? Stay in the middle. If the ball goes back on your, you go. Easy. Okay? Let's do it. No, no, no. Single pick and roll situation. Spread out. Spread out. Then you, you can come up if you want. Wait, 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 wait. You are like this. Listen. You are on the elbow right here. Come from there. Come from the other. You don't know what's going to... You are in on the ball. You don't know that the pick and roll is coming. Make a signal. Jump on his hip. Jump on his hip. And everybody adjust and react. Okay? Okay? Ready? Stay on the, on the middle, opposite elbow. Talk to him. Let's go. Roll it. Roll it. Top, top, top. This is easy. If he doesn't roll, you should let you go back on your man easy. Roll to the basket. Let's go. Again. Again. Ball here. Spread, 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 spread. Boom. Back, 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 back. Okay. This is the idea. Now... We do it offensively, thinking to score. Try to score with the same principle. Be aggressive, go to the best. Let's see what happens. Back, back. OK, OK. Wait, pretty good job. Pretty good job. So this is the idea. When they go toward the two-man side, we want to use a bump. This man is always the key. The top man on the two-man side. Because they go, they go toward his side. Got to go making a bump. Now, change, change side. Go to the other side. Now. No, 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 no. Same. Now we go toward the woman side. Or at least he tried to go toward the woman side. Okay? Same situation. Same call. Jump on his hip. Keep him there. Okay? Now, what's the risk here? Go. The risk here is that, like every time a big man, remember yesterday we were talking about, every time a big man roll on the one man's side, we are in trouble. Because we have only one man on the opposite side. There is no high bump over here. You see this? Go back. This is the reason why scouting we have two different choices. First, on middle pick and roll, we send him to the left. Okay? And, uh, for example, this is uh, probably the most used pick or middle pick and roll defense in the NBA. Okay? They call it weak. They go on the weak. Well, they go on the right hand and send it to the weak hand. Okay? Keep on one side. Which side? Send it to left. Okay? What we try to do, scouting-wise, it is try to push him, to keep him, to make him go toward the woman side, okay? So, for example, in this situation, if the ball is here, no, no, go, go set your screen, okay? If we know, scout-wise, okay, that the screen is coming, and that's the right, the two-man side, we go exactly, exactly, okay? Of course, you need to have... You, know, you need to know what they do. For example, against Panulis, which is one of the best picker or player ever, ever. We always did a good job sending him to the woman's side in order to have the five men focus on stopping Spanulis along with his teammate. Because he knows that he had two people behind him ready to bump and eventually the last one, the last one ready to get the deep roll if the bump didn't work, okay? This is, for example, one of the very most, very, very most used way we had to, to play pick and roll defense against, against Panu. But you need to have scout in order to know which one is the two-man side. Now, we don't know it, okay? Let's say that right here, the ball is a little bit more on the elbow. Screen right here. Keep it on one side. Wait, wait. Again, we said that the top man, defensive man on the two-man side is the key. Remember before, his responsibility was bumping the roll, right? In this case, his responsibility, it is, first of all, to let everybody know that this guy is on the two-man side, okay? Whatever signal, you, we call it short, 
because we want to let five men know that his help must be very short, okay? That the responsibility to stop the ball is basically between the ball handler and the right here. And this, why we do not want him to stay too long in a, long, in a, in a help against the ball? Because of the role, because we have only one man on the weak side. You see this? So we call it short. He knows that his help must be short. He got to go back on his own man. And you, you got to cooperate right here. Put slow motion. Go back, go back on that a little bit more. It will be earlier in the possession. You got to be right here, extremely active, going back. And if the me in the meantime, wait, we got to talk about the third man here. Third man here is in between. Okay? Watching baseline cuts and watching eventually possibility for mm, pops or whatever. If a bad P happen, we always automatically switch. Okay? This man must stay up. His responsibility is extremely important, helping the ball and stopping and getting back. So if make a back pick, make a back pick. Make a back pick here. If a back pick happen here, you are still in the top, you are still in the bottom. Okay? Right? If go back. Go back. Go. So we call it shh. Set your screen. Short, short, right here. Back. Okay. Don't scream. Stay up. Stay up. Go, go back door. Go back door. Back door. Switch it. Come up. And we do. So this man is focused in the short situation when he's top man in the two-man side. He's focused on cooperating, stopping the, stopping the ball and got back. Yet remember, before, at the beginning I was saying, if he needs to turn his back, we need a rotation. So once again, go back. If for whatever reason this guy is late in the screen, he falls on the screen, we do not want to change it, make it long. This is still short. Okay, if he rolls on the free throw line, right right there, you gotta take care, gotta start to take care of him. So if we need to go face the ball full, because he felt on the screen. We need to switch, to go with a full switch, okay? So we do not want him to go, stop the ball, and then have to recover on his own man. If he goes to the ball, he stays on the ball, and we switch, okay? Now we'll see a special case when we do it basically automatically. Let's do it now. Yeah, full help, full help, full on the screen. Okay, okay. That's, that's the idea. So if we need the full help, got to be a rotation. Why we do a rotation? We are on the two-man side. So there is a man behind. The rotation is not difficult. They did it easily at the first time. Easily at the first time, as you saw. Okay? Now, once again, let's put a little bit more of aggressiveness in your offense. Okay? We work it on short and try to attack him and try, try to do your job. Let's see if we need to just go and get back or call a switch. Okay? Right? Let's go. Jump on his hip. Okay, okay, back, back, okay, perfect. If we need to switch, we do it. Now, we are on the opposite side. Okay, you go screen, give him a signal, jump on his hip, slow motion. Now we are in a good situation on the paper. Stay, stay spread a little bit more. I'll, I'll tell you why. Because we are on the woman's side, we have a good two-man side in front, okay? Now, good players in this situation. Keep the screen, hold the screen. Remember, we were working yesterday about this. We'll change the scenario. No, no, hold the screen, hold the screen a little. Okay? We'll change the scenario, attack the opposite free throw line. Right there, right there. Attack the free throw line, right here. They will change the scenario and make the woman's side become the weak side and the two-man side turn, like this. So now we are in a difficult situation, right? Because he's rolling on the woman side. Okay? This is exactly the same situation as before. We try to fix it, not switch it with a big, which happened only against the speed dribble, straight. 
because you go for a layup and we want a block. If he goes slalom like this, we try to recover and we have an option to go and come back. If he goes back or switch from the corner, if he's really late in the screen, to switch and go with the full rotation. Exactly what you did there, okay? Okay, we did it, you slalom, let's go. Wait, wait, now we need a little bit more communication. Let's talk because we got to know if we are switching or not, okay? Just said a little bit of voice, okay? So you, you got to be, you are the last one who, who must be in trouble. So you go, you are focusing on the ball, they must tell you what happened. Talk to him, okay? Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back. Hold the screen. Okay, you cannot leave away because there is no, see that the big man, listen, if the big man step out offensively, it's a good idea to roll quickly. If the big man is flat inside, if you go away, you will find him. So there is no advantage over there. Wait a little, please a little bit higher so you have a little more of a, of a space. Hold the screen a little bit more. Hold it, hold it, hold it, okay. Okay, what are you, full rotation, okay, okay. You have it. Double guessing for a second, right? Okay, do it again. But this is the idea. This is the idea. Go ahead. One more time. Same principle. You make the call and you react a little bit faster. Let's go. Okay, okay. Then again, wait, 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 wait. Make this penetration. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Make this penetration in the baseline. Ball is in the corner. Of course, any, any rotation gives you a little bit more of a close-out problem, right? Because you got the move, you got the run, you got the spring, you don't know, is he a shooter, is he a penetrator? So if he drive by you, go, attack the basket. You will always know that the five men is responsible for the first step, always. And the next one, corner man, in this case, is responsible for the second end. You got to go where the ball goes. Okay, if he spread there, wherever the ball goes, you go first, you recover on your own man, and you go second. Wait, 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 no. Go out first, go, go out right there, and you go back, okay? Five stays on five, okay? Go back here. The same principle, slow motion. Wait, 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 no, no, you are, in the middle situation, right here, middle, no, no, middle, 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 okay? It becomes a force on the side because they make a call right here, okay? But sometime the call is late, his job is poor, which means that instead of jumping to the hip, he stay a little bit more over like this. Let's say that, go to the, get the elbow, okay? Instead of making the good job, pushing to the middle, to the, to the side, you stay right here, and you get caught in the middle. This happens sometimes, right? If they don't work, we got to be ready to react to mistakes. Okay, mistakes is a part of the game. We are not to stop and paralyze when a mistake happens. We got to have a plan B, plan C against mistake, okay? Let's say that this guy get caught in the screen, fight over, situation is exactly the same. You are in between, but, responsible of what, because you are in a short situation, right? There's only one man behind you, and you are in the same situation like, if you see that he's fine to recover, just quick fake and get back. If the ball goes there, we rotate, okay? If you go back door, we switch. If he's really bad, beat, switch, switch and rotate, okay? Let's go. Now, it's, let's say that he couldn't make the right job to jump to the hip and keep the ball on one side. This is happening. So fight over, fight over, and see what happens. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. If there is no a penetration danger, you recover with your own man. Okay, the first option is just help, short help and recover. Okay? If it's a back door, we switch, but your man it will stop by himself. Let's go. Come on. Okay, okay, we, we, um, 
right here, arms and fake and even voice is important. Help, right here, help. You know what I mean? He doesn't have to feel like, hey, this is a good situation to stop and take a pull up. I mean, he, does, he must know that somebody is coming behind his neck and some, somebody is threatening to go in front of him. So give him, give him trouble. Stay higher, stay higher. On the same line, exactly. Okay, back, 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 back. Okay, okay. Back, back, back. Again, we do the same. But now you are very aggressive. To drive, to shoot, to, to whatever. Okay? Come on. Uh, well, he tried to be aggressive and uh, it was not the right, right idea, probably. <laughs> Next time you know what to do, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, after the practice, please. After practice. Go. So we, we couldn't keep the ball on one side. Okay. Okay. Two men switch. Okay. Uh, once again, this is the idea. If a mistake happens, or if they slalom and change the two men side to the one side, we are ready to do that. We have a request to finish, which is in a two three zone situation how we manage to play pick and roll diff. Okay? So go in a two three situation, two in front, three behind. Who is in the first line? He is over. No, no, you come up. You come up. No. <laughs> first line, okay? Let me give you just one quick word about when we use zone. We barely use zone. When we do it, we normally do it in special situation. Out of bound plays, baseline or sideline. Uh, 14 second situation. I really don't believe top level, top level, that we can use zone several times in a row, full possession. So 24 seconds, 24 seconds, sooner or later they will, find that they will find an easy way to score, inside or outside, okay? So we basically use it seldom and when we have a limited amount of time in front, okay? Normally, we bring it to a matchup situation when the high post is getting to the high post from the side when nobody can take it because the low post there and the five man is involved, or in the last seven, eight seconds of the possession when a baseline cut, somebody moved, we trail and we match, okay? But let's say that the, in this case, if a pick and roll happen after we turn into the matchup situation, our rule are the same, okay? We are in the last 10 seconds, so number four will switch straight. Number five, between 10 and five seconds, we work exactly the same like this, okay? Let's say that the pick will happen before we get into the matchup situation with 14, 13, 12 seconds right here with five, okay? Ball is right here, screen is coming. Let's say that basically pretty, pretty great. Let's say that we cannot go under because we are already close to the, let's say, not in transition with 24 seconds to go. Here maybe he can take a shot. He's a good three-point shooter. Once again, we use the same call. Jump on his hip, keep him on one side. The difference, it is, that if there is a corner, we are exactly, exactly in the same situation as before, okay? It's basically, it's like a man-to-man -man situation. So if he goes, if he moves, you stay with him, okay? Just don't forget to call that we get in a matchup situation. Okay? So when we recover, we go back to him. So the idea is if, come to the middle, come to the middle, okay? Right here, bring him up, make a call, jump on his hip, same situation, be active, okay? Good, perfect, back. No corner on both sides. Cut to the other side. Wait. Now, if a, a no corner situation, no ball side corner situation happen, what we want to do, since they have nobody here, 
is made this guy participate. Set your screen. Set your screen. Come, use it. Jump on him, go on him, go back. If he pop, you're fine. If he rolls, roll, keep him, rotate, rotate, we are fine. And then probably we are already below 10 seconds to keep the matchup. Okay? So the big difference it is when the corner on both sides is present, we cannot, of course, switch because an easy pass to the corner and a three-point shot will happen. In this case, it's basically like in a man-to-man -man situation. If no corner on both sides, we use this, and also we use it. Let's have a four-man here, four-man here. Five men stay there. When it's a pick-and-pop situation, okay, with the four, not with the five. So screen him and pop. Jump, hey, 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 can stay a little bit higher. You see that the corner is going, that will help. Don't worry, we are in a zone situation, okay? They will take care of the corner, man. Don't worry about it. You jump right, right here, pop, pop. And we are fine. And you, you can go low because if he, if he duck, cut in the basket, you got to take care of him, okay? So this is the difference in our two, three zone concept. Corner, present on both sides, like in a, basically in a man-to-man -man situation. If there is no corner, we save the rotation. We keep our firemen a little bit more inside, not involved in a bigger situation, and we fix it between one and three or two and four with the corner switch. Okay? We got it? So this is basically, basically we, again, one more, we use seldom zone defense, mostly in, in uh, two, two to take away some dangerous out-of-bound play, like side or baseline out-of-bound play, and matching up early. So if 14 seconds are left on the shot clock, they put the ball in, they see the zone, they start to organize the zone offense, shot clock is going down, we are already below 10 seconds, we are already basically in a, in a pretty much in a matchup situation. What we wanted to do it is not let them run their out-of-bound dangerous play. Sideline or baseline. Then, is a then, last second, everything is a man-to-man, -man basically defense. More aggressive, less aggressive. But the last second, you have to go man-to-man. -man. You have to control the ball, and you have to control box out, especially. So you need five people going, matching up with five people if you want to have a strong box out and control the defense rebound. Okay? We have any questions with this, or...? Okay. <laughs> Guys, give him. Go under. No, because, because here put the situation. Go ahead and put the situation. No, no, no. Don't talk to me. Put the situation with the guy so we see it. And then, and then you talk. With some different places, right? Okay. Depend where he is. Well, go ahead, go ahead. Don't talk to me. <laughs> talk to your guys. You are, you are coaching this team. Go ahead, go ahead. Go on there. Yeah. So, uh, as, you, as you remember, I told you that Go under is a good option overall at the beginning of the possession when the ball is far away with only one concern. That since you see that our philosophy is to keep the ball on one side always, okay? If it goes under and they are quick on re-screening, you will get caught and will go to the middle. So, if you go on foreman side, it's fine because five men must come to the other side, you have time to call it, hey, uh, to the left, jump to the hip, and we keep it on one side. On number five side, against teams who are good in screen and rescreen immediately, I would go over also if it's far away. Of course, if it's a shooter, no, no question. Yeah. If, if we have good players who are able, or they are not too quick to go under and then jump to the hip, and on the quick screen, 
Keep the ball on one side, that's fine. Exactly, exactly. But then it's a matter of choice in, in, according to what you have in front, your opponent. 